Hello, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do something special. Well, it's not that special, but I'm gonna finally do a good installation for my inflatable dinghy yep, with the. Ooh. Can you see those birds? Oh, I think they got scared when I got out of the boat. Today, I'm gonna show you... Well, I'm gonna try to install a new outboard motor, electric outboard motor to my inflatable dinghy. So, we have this beautiful place in an island. We'll be sailing for a week now and might be obstacles, problems with this installation. First being that the uh, outboard that I got is 12 volt, like they usually are, and the battery that I'm gonna use is 24 volt. Actually, it's like 29 when it's full. Uh, it's a lithium ion battery. The one that I got before for my um, electric scooter, and uh, I also tried that on my previous um do it yourself electric outboard that i use in here but that was too too big too heavy too clumsy to put on so now i got this smaller one and yeah it should work even though it's 12 volt i've, I've tried it runs but i don't know how long it's gonna run it might also give like twice the power it might be good if it works but yeah let's see i'm gonna now pick up some stuff out of my boat. Here's the battery, and here is the outboard. Okay, so here's the deal. Fits here pretty good. Now I have to figure out how to put the battery on. There's this kind of a slot here, and I got this kind of a piece of metal that goes into the slot so if I screw it on I could do it like this and the battery terminal is down there then I have the cables and I might try to do I could just connect those straight here but I don't want to cut these off so probably gonna put some bolts maybe in here if I can thread it I could do it over here the other one on the other side or just way apart each other so they don't connect to each other and then put the, the wires from here to the bolts yep so let's go back to the boat and get some stuff some some tools and the rest of the stuff so what I need, I need this, yep, this is them, I need to drill some holes to this, and also I need some screws, Let's see, I think I got the right terminals over here. Well, the connections for the for the battery. Here's the cable. And I need some bolts. These should be good. Yeah, 
I got this here pretty easily. So I just put the uh, bolts to the plywood that I got here earlier. This was, I attached this plywood when I was using them. Trying to pick a motor on, so, and that needed a little bit more thickness over here, so, but it's not necessary here, but I got it there, so I used that to connect these. I know it's bad if this get wet, then it might conduct the electricity between the ground and the plus, but yeah. Let's test it with this. If it's good, I might get this removed and drill it to the um, to the plastic over here. It should. It's the rail that goes in, and then you do it like that. Then you can turn it on. Yep, it's on. You drill this on here. Like that. Around there should be good. <laughs> then I need to connect this. Okay, let's test it out on the dry land. So, this should be correct. This one is off. Now let's put the power on. Power is on. Let's see. Oh yeah, works. I think we got a company over there. Boat coming this way. Okay, let's take it to the water and see how it goes. We got some company. Two boats over there. Yeah, so now we are on the water and It's safe to. Could you give me a push? Let's first put the uh, power on. Yep. Power is on. Now, give me a little push. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. That's a peony boy, the head. Oh my god, it's fast. Yep. Going pretty fast. A lot faster than the uh, old one. Backwards. Should I put it a little bit lower? I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I got my amp meter here. I got my phone also so I can see the speed. Speed over there, so let's do some tests. So this is the gear one. We are drawing like 13 about 13 amps and we are going two knots 
This is uh, against the wind. Two boat one knots. Let's put the second gear on. It's 15 amps. Not that much speed. Let's see the third one. It's like five speed, I think. The third one kicks in. It's 25 amps. Two point six knots only. Four gear, it's thirty amps. Fifty, sixty amps. Oh, this one is fast. Fifty six amps. Now we are going. This is pretty fast. The second gear is just like from 12 amps to 15 and goes to 30 amps. It's the fourth gear, fifth gears, three knots. But this is the fastest. Should go four knots. I think it should go like four knots. Okay, so it goes pretty fast with the. Uh, if I calculate it right, about 24 volts with 50 amps. It's like one kilowatt or something. Is it? Yeah, it is. Might be even more. So let's say 20 volt, 24 volts times 50 amps. It's 1.2 kilowatts. And this is rated only for, I think, 300 watts or something. 12 volts. So. 12 volts times 30 Yeah, 360 Watts And I can do now 120 <laughs> So A little bit more than you should get But yeah, it's pretty fun, it seems to be working pretty good